Antoine, you've been selected yet again to travel to the under-15 Cocky Calf tournament in Florida in August. Obviously, now you've had a year on the about to know what it's like at the international level. Uh, what have you been doing to prepare for this time around and, and how has the training been going in preparation? Oh, basically that um, I think me and Tashan, ever since we came back from the last under-15s, we decided to um, up our training. Um, Mr. Williams, um, referee chairman, um, and also Mr. Francis and Mr. Arena um, decided that um, we need to up our training, so we decided to do more training, do more running, do more fitness um, inside the classroom and outside the classroom as well. Now, obviously, it's under 15. Uh, many would think the pace is not that fast, but uh, you got to deal with so many other uh, conditions in the heat. Um, and the pace is actually a lot faster than a lot of people think. Um, but what type of things um, will you be doing this time around to ensure that you are more prepared? I know you've done the fitness, but there's small things that you, I guess, learnt about yourself, learnt about um, other things. But what are the things you're going to do to be better prepared this time around? Um, a lot of stuff, actually. Like I said, I have to change my whole rout routine. Um, the last year was women's, girls. Um, this time is man's. Um, the pace is a little quicker. Um, not that quicker, but it's quicker. Um, so it, it's, it changed everything. Um, like I said, I have to change my eating habit more. Um, my regimen has got to go longer than what it was. So now it, it's basically what I have to do. Well, Tashan, you and Antoine have been sent a regimen of what you needed to do to prepare. We've caught a glimpse of you going through your paces uh, this evening. Um, but how do, you, how do you think your fitness compared to last year is on a scale of 1 to, say, 100? Um, compared to last year, I think I did, I'm did. i doing way better. Um, I just passed the fitness test finally after three years, about three weeks ago. So I feel fitter. I feel a little bit less overweight I guess per se but I think it's coming along great we have another three to four weeks before we hit the trip but we have to keep working obviously there's some pressure on you guys because uh, there's been a lot of talk locally about FIFA lists um, do you feel added pressure in making sure that when you go to this particular event um, you should have a good show and that would uh, shine some light on the fact that you want to get on that FIFA list um, that's that's every every referee's dream is to be on the FIFA list, but I mean we're working. So if that's what it comes down to, we have to put the put our work together. Like, you know, when we get down there we just have to do what we gotta do and show CONCACAF that we're ready for the FIFA list. Now you traveled with Antoine last year and you're gonna travel with him again. Obviously you guys are gonna be talking a lot about what, what you have to go through because last year when you came back you said you guys used to go over game ideas together and so forth. But how has that bond been since you've been back? Obviously, it's a lot stronger. Yeah, we're, um, um, we've been doing a couple of things that we learned out there, like especially warming up before every game. We've been doing that. Um, a lot of technical work that we did down there was put into practice in some of the games in the last season. Um, um, and it just comes down to technical, really, and keeping fit. We're, we're trying to keep it fit with doing what we done away. So hopefully this year it's going to be boys going to be a little bit more intense. So hopefully we could live up to the pressure. Uh, referee chairman Cranston Williams, um, two of Bermuda's referees once again um, will be traveling to the under 15 tournament um, to represent Bermuda and the region for the CONCACAF under 15 uh, tournament in Florida. Um, your thoughts in, in moving the program with another two going, or the same two going, but obviously being recognized as an accomplished uh, referee assistant to get the award to go a second time around? Yes, we the association extremely, extremely proud. Um, it's a work in progress. Hopefully, if they do what they're supposed to do, well, I'm going to speak it into existence. They are going to do what they're supposed to do, and they'll be on the list come January 2018. Uh, to my understanding, they've been put through a rigorous process. They've been trained every day for the past month to make sure and 
the tournament starts on the 13th to the 19th. They're scheduled to get to Florida on the 12th of August. And Bermuda will also be participating in the CONCACAF Under-15 Championships. Now again, um, you must have been elated last year when they got the call up, but this year, knowing that they were called back, uh, must be a plus for what the association has been doing and what they have been committed to doing themselves for the season. Uh, yes, when they returned last year, we were given a comprehensive report on the things they needed to work on in order to be given a chance to go back this year. So over the past course of this season, we made sure that they were put on all the top matches. They did all the finals as we were instructed by CONCACAF and FIFA. They had regular fitness sessions. They also had to complete rigorous assessments, video analysis, laws of the game. They completed the FIFA course that we had. And so all the hard work, as they say, pays off. Thank you.